Greetings and welcome to Sunday Vespers. We're looking at uh, various texts that I have noted in the back of one of my Bibles, the one I have used the most over the years. Um, they were texts that at one point or another in my life just kind of grabbed a hold of my heart and I made a little note about what, what it's about. And so I thought it'd be, be kind of nice to share that uh, for our Sunday Vespers for a while. So, um, and I've decided to start naming them. This one is, is entitled Bones on Fire. And Jeremiah was a, a prophet with a, a tender heart. He had a gentle spirit about him. And he, he not only preached his message, he, he felt it deeply and he demonstrated it on a number of occasions. Uh, one of the things he did is wore a yoke around his neck to uh, teach the people. During his ministry, he was put in prison a couple times and uh, eventually he was sent into exile. So it was, it was a difficult ministry um, for the large part for Jeremiah. And especially because he felt it so deeply. Um, he preached through uh, the times of six different kings. So he had a long ministry. Um, of course, there was a lot of uh, stress in Israel at the time and, and hardship there. That's why they were going through kings so rapidly. But, uh, but he was there for, for quite the duration. And there's this thing about him that he, that he writes that um, says to us, to me, that he had to preach. He did, he, it wasn't a choice that he made. It, it's something he had to do. He was compelled to do it because of the call of God on his life. Here's how he wrote it up in the, the 20th chapter of his, of his book, verse 9. He wrote, If I say I will not mention the Lord or speak any more in his name, there is in my heart, as it were, a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I'm weary of holding it in, I cannot. He could not hold the message back. It was like fire in his bones. What a, what a picture he gives us of, of this burning desire in the very core of his being to share the word of the Lord as the Lord had laid it on his heart, this, this message of repentance and faith for Israel. As I, as I read that years ago, I, I, I immediately identified with it because that's what it's like for me every week to, to preach the word of the Lord. Uh, my, my youngest granddaughter just yesterday said, I don't know how you do it, Pop Pop. I don't know how you preach every week. I don't know how you do that. She said, I, I, I'm all distraught when I have to stand up and speak in front of my class at school one time. And uh, I assured her that it was the calling of God that made that possible in my life. I also have a sense, though, that um, it's not just unique of persons like myself who are called to a preaching and pastoral ministry, um, that, that when we recognize uh, the depths of the gospel in our hearts and in our souls, there should be this, this kind of a fire in our bones to share that good news to share the message with others. It, uh, it ought to be like, man, I, I don't have any choice. I've got to share that. I've got to let this out. It's, it's burning me up. So um, I'd like to pray for us this evening that, that in these days, first of all, that we would be a people of a gentle nature and a tender heart, as was Jeremiah, a, a, a gentle nature and a tender heart. I, I, I run into or I, or I see evidence of too many folks who who think that sharing the gospel should be done out of anger. <laughs> At least it sounds that way sometimes when you hear them. And, and that's, that's never very productive at all. Uh, so that we'd be a people of a gentle nature and a tender heart. And also uh, that we feel like we've got to tell the story. We've got to share the gospel. We've got to share what Christ has done in our own hearts and in our own lives. So, so let me pray for us about that. Heavenly Father, if, if the world ever needed uh, a time of, of the sharing of the gospel. It, it, it needs it now, though I believe that's always been true. Uh, help us, help us, Lord, as, as your servants, as, as children of God, as citizens of the kingdom of heaven. Help us to look for opportunities, not, not to be surprised by them, but to find them because we're actually looking for them, looking for opportunities 
to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Maybe in a prayer, maybe, maybe in, a, in a note sometimes, maybe in, in, in a kind word that opens the door to lead to, to telling others about Jesus and how, how much you love us and how you died for us and how you rose again. Help us not to miss the opportunities uh, to share the good news in these days uh, with a gentle spirit and with kindness and with grace, lots of grace. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.